Formulating with glass bubbles can be tricky. Glass bubbles are low in density, so they take up a lot of volume per unit of weight. So any replacement you do of fillers that are already ex existing in a composite material, you should do on a volume basis when you're replacing them with glass bubbles. We're going to go through an example here with sheet molding compound where, where we're going to replace talc with a very low density glass bubble material. In the first case, we've got an initially formulated material of unsaturated polyester at 40% by weight and talc at 60% by weight. This has a very high density in a composite because the talc is very high in density. If we replaced the talc with the talc weight percent with the same weight percent of glass bubbles, 60% by weight of glass bubbles, now we've changed the amount of volume percent of talc of 36% to 92.65% of filler with glass bubbles. So the same weight percent results in almost all of the composite turning into glass bubbles and very little resin left over as the glue to hold the composite together. What we should do is reformulate this system on a volume basis, as we'll show you in, the, in this example, where we've replaced the 60% by weight talc, or 36% by volume talc, with the same volume percent of, talc, uh, of glass bubbles, 36% by volume, that equates to only 6.28% by weight of this glass bubble material. So a very economical use of filler because you're using a very low weight and you're getting a very significant change in density. You're almost cutting the density, you're cutting the density in, in more than half by s supplanting the talc with the glass bubbles at the same volume percent. So when you're reformulating with glass bubbles, remember to do it by volume. This uh, slide shows an example of a comparison of the glass bubble material to a more dense filler such as talc. At the same weight, you can see how much more volume the glass bubble takes up versus the small volume of filler such as talc. So again, the, the key message, reformulate your existing system with existing fillers that are more dense with glass bubbles on a volume basis and not a weight basis.